So let's style those comments. Now in the template, I added an ID of comments to the section that holds the comments. So we can use this ID for our styles. And therefore again in post detail CSS, I'll target my comments. So this overall section and then give this overall section a certain look. Now it's totally up to you how comments should look like and how they should be presented. I will kind of repeat that look from my comment form section here. So I will grab this margin and width and max width and basically all of that. And hence we could also change that uh, to a class which uh, applies this common look. But to avoid this HTML change, I'll just comment, uh, I'll just copy those styles here into comments. So that with that, we also have such a card like this. And I will actually make it a little bit wider, I guess. I'll go for a max width of 60 RAM instead of 40, so that this is a bit wider. And then I want to style the individual comments. For this, let me select the unordered list in the comments section and remove the list style by setting it to none, remove the margin and the padding, and then target the list items in the comments section. Here I want to have a margin to the bottom of one rem so that there is some spacing between the comments. I want to have a border to the bottom of two pixels, solid and a slight gray color. I don't want to have that border for the last uh, list item in that list. So there I'll set border bottom to none. And if we save this and reload, we have this look. Actually, I think more padding might make sense here, more padding to the left and right. So on the comments overall, I'll change the padding to left and right to two rem. So one rem, top and bottom, two rem, left and right. To have more spacing to the left and right. And then I'll change the content of each comment a little bit. I'll target my H2 tags in there and give them a gray color. Not that light gray though, but maybe a gray like this. so that the name is slightly grayish. And yeah, I think that's the style I'll go with. Now, as I said, we could add more functionality. We could, for example, save the date when a comment is created and show this as well. But here I'm happy with this way of presenting it. And now we successfully added this comments feature. At least almost there is one last step missing, which I also want to add.